Oh uh, no. <laughs> Crap. Battle City begins. So, this. This is the deal where you can get one turned with Exodia, basically. Yugi was just uh, disturbed that there was now an unknown foe attempted to like, take his Millennium Puzzle. He felt unprepared. He didn't know enough about the puzzle to understand what dangers he now would have to face. Hey, how's it going, Yugi? Not so great. I need your help, and so does the spirit of the millenni Millennium Puzzle. Whoever it was that stole the puzzle seemed to know a lot about its past. That reminded the spirit how little he knows about it, but hanging out with you might help him figure things out. Sure, but how exactly am I going to do that? You always have great advice. Just talk to him. Spirit and Taya spent the day together. They went to Domino Museum, which had just opened their Egyptian exhibit. They saw an ancient stone carving that depicted a battle between a sorcerer and a pharaoh. The pharaoh bore a striking resemblance to Yugi, while the sorcerer looked just like Kaiba. As they stood in awe of their discovery, a mysterious woman walked up to greet them. My pharaoh, I've been expecting you. Huh? Who are you? I am Ashizu of the Egyptian Historical Society. I've uncovered many mysteries about you and these ancient carvings using the magic of my Millennium Necklace. Another Millennium item. Like your Millennium Puzzle, this necklace affords me certain powers. With it, I have gazed 5,000 years into the past, to a time when evil sorcerers threatened to destroy the entire world. However, there was one king who possessed a magic powerful enough to stop this evil threat. The pharaoh who saved the world was you. And now the time has come for you to rescue mankind once again. To rescue mankind from what? How do you know the world is in danger of being destroyed again? My millennium necklace also shows me visions of the future. My pharaoh, the events of the past will occur once again. And the same great evil will return to threaten us. How will I recognize this evil? I know that your memory has faded and that you seek many answers. I also know a dual monster tournament is beginning. If you win it, you will find your answers. The tournament, this is coincidental, isn't it? The tournament that Shizu was referring to was Seto Kaiba's Battle City Tournament. Joey and Yugi both received invitations to participate. All entrants were given a special transparent card known as a locator card. Actually, if I remember rightly, Yugi was invited and could get into a dark magician, but Joey couldn't. He was like ranked as like one star on the computer, and then like they he realized his rare card was red eyes and was like oh god we it was like a rare hunter and he was like man this is a rare card we're gonna put that in so we can get it and he like upped his stars so we could enter <laughs> or something like that all entrants were given a special transparent card known as the locator card the tournament attracted a group of duelists known as the rare hunters these evil duelists were thieves intent on stealing the most rare dual monster cards joey lost his red eyes black dragon to a rare hunter named seeker hoping to win back his card Joey challenged him to a rematch. You got my red eyes and I want it back, so it's time to duel. I have no desire to duel you. I've already relieved you of your rare red eyes. My hunt for your deck is over. Well, that's too bad. I I am not leaving until I win my red eyes. Joey, what's going on? Yuki Moto. He has the eye to my master's desire. This guy owes me a rematch so I can win back my red eyes. I already told you that you have nothing that's of any use to me, but perhaps your friend would be interested in being my next victim. It will be my pleasure to hunt the Duelist Kingdom champion and snare his dark magician, so I challenge Yugi Moto to a duel. Fine, Rare Hunter, I accept your challenge. It's the only way to win back your card, Joey. If you win this duel, I'll hand over my dark magician to you, but if you lose, you must return Joey's Red Eyes Black Dragon. Yeah, this is the one where I could get one turn with Exodia and. Oh god, I hope it doesn't happen. I hope we pretty mad. Let's go rocks. Oh yeah. Let's go second. Oh, maybe I should have gone first. Oh god. Oh jeez. Well, at least he has a chance to one turn me. Oh, here it goes. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh no, oh no, it's an exotic card. And it's an exotic card. And it's an exotic card. Oh, thank god. 
have not been one turned yet. All right, we've got the Magnet Warriors. Beta the Magnet Warrior and Baphomet. Uh. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Uh, so Beta the Magnet Warrior, I guess. And I'll attack you. And then my turn. Oh god, here we go. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna activate this like first sword. Randomly choose chose the real one. I don't even know what it was. Dark hole, you jerk. That sword's revealing right. What an asshole. It's because he doesn't have any monster cards. Well. Yeah, no monster cards except for 30 pieces, I believe. My god! Oh. God damn it. Freaking called it, didn't I? Freaking called it. Stay aggressive and defeat your opponent before they assemble it. It was three turns. What the hell? Stone statue of the Aztecs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, 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 we know. Story deck. Number 40. Gimmick Puppet of Strings. Never heard of that card before. Go rock. Oh. 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 Oh, oh, at least I got the Zell and Bethlehem. Chain destruction. Well, that's useless because he doesn't summon any freaking cards. I summon Gazelle, the king of mythical beasts. This card is always treated as a phantom based one. Cards I've never heard of. Just like Summon Skull's Archfiend. Yes, now I'll activate Light Force Sword. Maybe I should have waited. Oh well. Yeah. Oh! Oh. <laughs> I guess that's an insulting thing, then, right? It's only my turn. Why is it so if I find a beast? Favoritism. Oh god, here we go. Oh, maybe not. And I'll uh, summon the Chandler card. Guardian. No. I can't battle, so I'll end my turn. Its effect, so I get a gazelle into my hand. No. Gazelle, the king of physical beasts. You have to sacrifice this in my Baphomet. It doesn't make sense, does it? You know, I have to fight some kind of beast cards, but I don't remember which ones. I don't remember how I got them. Oh no. Oh, he does have monsters. Yes. Chain destruction. Crap. Oh god, such strong cards. Although you do realize I have. Wish all the King of Mythical Beasts in my hand, right? And made it the Magnet Warrior. Interesting. I'm just gonna summon it again. I can't I can't afford to go on the defensive here because it's a stupid deck. I'm not gonna be able to just draw that big amount of Dum 
Oh, here we go. Oh, no, no, this is a vein line. So they should just stall back until we can get it out and that's what's so annoying about it. Oh, no, I can't even... See, I need polymerization. Where the hell's my polymerization here? 13, that's 28. Uh, 30, 28, 36. It's not enough. It's just not enough. I can't attack anyway, actually. Any minute, so it's a vein line, so it's great. Situation normally not so good. Yes. Time seal. Oh, okay. Well, he hasn't got Exodia yet. He just got an Exodia piece. How could he? I'm literally just waiting for polarization like that's all I can do right now. I can't get through that stupid gear golem. Yeah, go face skipped. Wait, wait, you're another three times, huh? Screw off. Seriously, leave me alone. I'm just gonna summon you. And go away. Except you. Brain control. 3,000. 4,400. 5,200. Close. Kill you. No, I don't want to activate this yet. I don't want him to, uh, that hits guard up or whatever. No, no. Okay, it's small. It's growing. Yeah. You. I need to make Beth Matt to get a gazelle into my hand. No, actually, I've changed my mind. So, gazelle, right? Gazelle, 15, 3,000. Wait, 2,000, 4,500. 5,900. Damn it. Oh, damn it. I'm so close. How goalie. Wait a minute. Shouldn't you be skipping like three faces, isn't it? I'm gonna kill you. Red eyes. Ooh, I forgot a monster ball. Let it out. Of course I didn't. Why wouldn't I? Let me alone. Yeah, no. I got a, I got a plan. I got a plan. I got a plan. Let's see if this works out, shall we? Dust tornado. Get rid of your fan light. Ah, let's activate. No, I don't want to activate the pulling circle. Oh, wait. No, I'm gonna activate brain control. This to my side of the field. During your main phase, you can play. No, change the top position. Now we go to the battle phase. E attack. E attack. E attack. E attack. And E attack. Now, 100. And the phase. Activate. Spellbinding circle. Stop that from going back to defense mode. Now I end my turn. If he doesn't have Exodia or any counter, then I win. Nice. 
of these then. And wipe you out. Gamma. Yeah. Beat the seeker. Of course. I'm the champ. Yeah, you you won. That's an awful, awful impression. I'm taking Joey's red eyes and your locator card. I lost. I failed. Forgive me, master. I tried my best. No, please don't be angry. Ah, my duck moving on my bed. <laughs> and when I did the ass sound, she looked at me as if to say, the hell are you doing? <laughs> Yugi, this wacko lost his mind. Remember me, Pharaoh. Actually, perhaps you don't. You were trapped in the puzzle when I told little Yugi. Congratulations on defeating my rare hunter. I just realized it's not mine. Though he was the weakest duelist in my crew, my other minions will prove much more formidable. Ew, what's this freak show? What's with this freak show? Pharaoh, I've waited for you for years. Finally, after all this time I will destroy you. I will not allow my other rare hunters to fail like this one. I have a little time for this kind of I have little time for this kind of foolishness. So I've taken over his body and trapped his mind in the Shadow Realm. I am in control. How do you control him? Each of the Millennium Idians contains its own unique power. My mind control is a simple task with my Millennium Rod. Allow me to introduce myself. Remember my name, Marek. Marek, what is it you want from me, Marek? I want what belongs to me, and I'll take it using the strength of the Egyptian God Cards. Egyptian what? Millennia ago, a trio of powerful behemoths rampaged throughout ancient Egypt. These Egyptian god monsters spread destruction throughout the world until the pharaoh sealed them away for eternity. But when Pegasus created dual monsters, he resurrected these mighty beasts as cards. With his Egyptian gods, I can destroy you and claim the power I deserve. You'll never claim the Millennium Puzzle. You misunderstand, I want more than the power of the puzzle, I want the pharaoh's power boundless energy of the ancient ruler himself. With it, no one will stand in my way. I'll use the almighty magic again to conquer and lead the world. I will be unstoppable. The end is near, Pharaoh. It's my world now. Not yet, Marek. I'm beginning to understand why Shizu asked me to participate in Battle City. It's my destiny to stand between you and the evil powers you seek, and I will. Pharaoh, your days are numbered. Enjoy the game while you still can, because your reign is coming to an end. Man, that was weird. I know that guy was a big creep, but who knew that he was just a front for another creep? Here, Joey, take your relics back. You hold on to it. It isn't my tape, pal. You want it fair and square. Besides, the rare hunters, uh, rare hunters have got to tons of rare cards. Their decks are all souped up, so I know they're gonna be tough to beat, even for you. You always had my back, so it's time I help you for a change. That's why I want you to keep my red eyes. I know it's gonna come in handy for you sometime. Besides, this means that a part of me will be a part of your deck. It's kind of cool knowing that I'm helping you save the world. Don't get me wrong, I'm still I'm still in the contest because I had I still have the rare the rare card requirement covered. Red eyes wasn't the only rare card in my deck. You gave me another rare card way back when I first started playing Duel Monsters. Remember, the Time Wizard. Yep, you bailed me out of jams at Duel's Kingdom, I know it's gonna save my butt in Battle City. You know, when you think about it, both of our hearts are in our decks, we're a team together. We won't let any Duelists beat us. We'll whoop this merry creep and his rare hunter goon squad so hard that they won't know what hit them. They'll be sorry that they ever decided to mess with us. Thanks, Joey. I'll take good care of your red eyes. You're a true friend, Joey, and together, we can take on any evil that comes our way. Ah, in your sweet. Yu-Gi-Oh, the Master of Magicians. Yu-Gi-Oh, Battle City begins. Seeker, deck avatar. Seeker, cheating Exodia. Mm. Seeker, the coming of Exodia. Signature card reward, right arm of the Forbidden One. Exodia, the Forbidden One. Yegal, North Fortress. 14-15 victory, dual points, opened. Next. 